Warzone 2 Ranked Mode is finally here. And you're probably already out there stacking up SR, grinding for that sweet, sweet iridescent 17 Red Bulls deep. But I'm here to make that process a lot easier. So listen up. Now, before we get started, my name is Blue Thunder. I'm a content creator for NYXL and the New York Subliners. We have a TikTok of Warzone tips with 800,000 followers. So we figured it was only right to bring our talents over to YouTube. Now, I've been playing Warzone 2 since launch. And just like all of you, I've been patiently waiting for Warzone zone 2 ranked mode to drop and i've also been studying looking for the fastest way to gain sr and to rank up in preparation for this ranked mode now what i can tell you is one of the most important parts of a warzone 2 match is the initial drop this can set you up for success for the remainder of the game or set you back and then you spend half the match trying to regain after thousands upon thousands of drops i think i have finally identified the absolute best drop spot in the game it's super reliable kind of on the outskirts of the map offers a ton of flexibility given the situation and guarantees the best loot and most cash in the entire map. So without further ado, NYXL presents the best drop spots in Warzone 2 ranked play. So what you want to do is drop into Sewa Village and as you're floating above, you need to look at these three buildings. One of these will be marked with yellow flags and could also be a stronghold. Your goal for this drop is to loot up and then as soon as the first circle begins to close, head inside whichever building has the yellow flags. These buildings are guaranteed to contain white chests, which will give you enough cash for a loadout, and they often contain kill streaks and other high value loot. Now if you're really lucky, this building will have the yellow flags. And this is the best case scenario, because actually you don't have to wait until the circle closes to get inside. If you drop on the roof, simply drop down to this balcony and enter through this door. You now have this entire building to yourself to loot plenty of white chests and get set up for the entire match. Additionally, when you're done looting Sewa Village, head over to this small hill and you'll find two hidden caches that often contain kill streaks, durable gas masks, and other key items. Let me know in the comments what you think of this drop spot, and if you know any other drop spots that are even better, put those in the comments as well. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and stay tuned because we got plenty more Warzone tips coming your way.